What's up guys? I am here with another vlog and I actually haven't done a vlog in a while. Um, so I want to give you guys a little update and kind of show you around the home office. Now I have this office and then I have a shared office space um, in an actual office building where I do a lot of writing and all the kind of PR stuff with the website. But for the home office, this is where all the videos get shot. This is where we do all of the testing and all of the photos and everything like that gets done here. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this is the main desk setup and this is pretty much where I do all the video editing, a lot of writing and updating the site. And this is pretty much my home main PC setup. Um, this is where I shoot a lot of the recent videos that we shot or that I've shot. Um, use this kind of background that I set up. I don't know if I really like it. Let me know if you guys like how we have that setup or you would want something different. Um, just a lot of products that we reviewed in the past, put all the uh, boxes up there, made a cool little background, but obviously I can change that. Um, this desk is a corner desk from Ikea. And I really, I've, I've had this desk for almost 10 years now. Um, I love it. I actually have another one on the other side, which I'll show you guys. But for this desk, I've kind of rigged it up to be a standing desk because it's not traditionally a standing desk, but got these like feet here, it's made out of wood. And that allows it to be a standing desk. I try to be semi healthy and uh, sitting down all day does not work. And when I am sitting down here, I just have this, uh, this guy. If I uh, am, but I try to stand most of the time um, when I'm doing work here. And then this is the display that I'm currently using. This is from Samsung. This is their CF791. Um, I will leave a link in the description below to our review of this. I love this. this is a 34 inch ultra wide with quantum dot. Great for editing photos, great for editing video and just all around. Uh, it's a great monitor. I'm in love with it. So moving on to my keyboard that I use. Um, when I review keyboards, I use them here and then I switch them out um, You know, every time I do a different review. But for this one, I've kept this one um, because I like it so much, it's super comfortable. This is a Cherry MX Board 6.0. Like I said, I'm just in love with this keyboard. Super, super comfortable. The only downside to it, I love this rubber wrist rest. I'm a huge wrist rest guy and this is this big rubber wrist rest, but uh, it gets all these like dust and, and things like that. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, so over here, this is the mouse that I currently use. This is the Corsair MMO. I can't forget uh, Scimitar Pro RGB. And um, on the side here, we have all of these buttons and I don't even play MMOs anymore, but uh, the buttons here are great for setting things in Premiere and Lightroom and Photoshop. That's primarily why I use it. And then here's my blue mic, just the, the basic blue mic. That's what I do most of the voiceovers on, on a lot of the videos and what we record the podcast on and all of that is done on this mic. And uh, this is my old camera. Um, I'm actually shooting this on the Canon GX7 Mark II, which I've been testing out, which I'm not gonna keep. Um, I will be upgrading to a 4K camera. Um, definitely stay tuned for that. I'll do have a whole vlog on that. And uh, we'll move over. Oh, these are my headphones. Um, audio is not super, super important. I use speakers most of the time, but when I'm editing video and things like that, we do have the, uh, these are the HyperX Cloud 2s. And for comfort, these are the most comfortable a uh, set of headphones that I've used and I really, really like them. Um, better than any of their newer headphones. Just, I, I like, I love these. And then over to here, we have the kind of test setup, which I'll kind of show you real quick. And so we have two test systems, both in test benches, and we have a third one uh, down there, that black thing down there. That is the third test system. So this is the Z270 test system. This is the test system that's used for testing uh, Dolce on DDR4, for testing M.2 um, SSDs, and uh, for motherboards, Z270 motherboards in general. Um, the reason I like this, this is a really old test bench. This is the high speed PC test bench. And the reason I like it is because you just press your motherboard down into it and there's no top here. So I can easily, when I'm done testing, I can pull this board and put another one down. Super easy to do that. Uh, that's why I like this and that's why I use it. And the second test bench, this is the Lee and Lee, I believe it's the T60 or T70, uh, not specifically sure, 
but um, this is our X99 test system. So video cards, quad channel memory, and uh, and typical SSDs or 2.5 inch SSDs are tested on this guy. And um, I do like this test bench, but again, it has this top right here. Um, so it makes it harder to pull boards and the boards are uh, screwed down. So it's just a little bit harder to go ahead and uh, swap that things out. But this works really well. Um, the board really doesn't change. Like I said, the only thing that changes is the memory and the graphics cards, which don't even have one installed right now. And then up top, just some extra memory that I have sitting here, um, you know, to swap out different systems and things like that. And then we'll go over to the display. So this is, again, the same desk as the one I was using, or the one I'm using over there, except for this one's just on the ground. So, and I have this chair, which I've had for years. Uh, I don't even know who makes it, um, but I've had that forever. And uh, the two monitors here, so this one is the uh, just a normal 1080p display, um, just for doing most system stuff and all that. And then over here, we have the Dell 4K, that's for testing graphics cards uh, for 4K quality and all that, so we do that with that one. And then typically I have just products that I'm in the middle of testing or using. Um, so just some Bluetooth speakers, new mouse from uh, Epic Gear. This is a Morpha X, which is actually awesome mouse, so definitely stay tuned for the video on that. And uh, I'm about to swap that Z270 system out for the new, uh, what is this? This is the EVGA Z270 Classified K, great board. I'm gonna be swapping that out later today. And then over here, I just have a bunch of ex extra accessories, like stuff to open boxes. So this is like the main screwdriver I use. I don't know why I don't have like a nicer one, but that's the one I use. I use this uh, Joby uh, Gorillapod type thing. Uh, this is a small one made for mirrorless cameras. It, uh, it's great for getting shots that I can't get with the tripod. And then just extra like accessories, like a bunch of water cooling uh, mounts and stuff like that. And then if I move down here, this is sort of like my charging station. So I have this five port, at least yeah, five port uh, USB charger, basically charging a bunch of backup batteries and then like old camera, old video camera. And then down here is just a bunch of other accessories. So like screwdrivers and stuff like that, um, measuring stuff or measuring stuff inside a case, uh, smaller screwdrivers for, for SSDs and things like that extra uh, thermal paste for swapping out uh, coolers, and then a sound meter for metering sound. We do case reviews and other stuff like that. And then we will go all the way around to this side of the room, and this side of the room is basically for shooting photos and videos. So I have this, so you guys can kind of see right there, I have this big background and I've actually, I did a cloth background for a, lo a very long time, probably five years and I have no clue why I did that. Um, because when that cloth gets dirty, you have to buy a new cloth background or a new vinyl background. And it just doesn't, uh, it, it's, it's just a pain and it costs a lot of money to continually buy that over and over again. Um, so with this, the paper background is very inexpensive for a big roll like this. And um, if it does get dirty or messed up right there, I can just cut it, bring down more, and then I have it and it's less expensive, so, which is good. So this is not actually white, it's actually a uh, gray, but when I edit it in a uh, Lightroom, I can actually make it white, which is really good. And uh, the gray is really good too, so if we're shooting a white product on there, it, um, it comes up, so when you're shooting white on white, normally it doesn't come up as well, so I kinda use this. I might be switching this out to, not sure yet, um, but I do use this three, uh, three light kit that I've had for, again, a very long time, maybe six or seven years now I've had this. So three light kit, two on the side, one on the top. It gives you that good look uh, that we try to do for our photo and video, and this is actually huge. This is really, really big, and it's actually big enough for pretty much all cases, which is the huge thing. Um, and that is pretty much it. I have the tripod over here, uh, which I will be upgrading, and I, I'll be doing a gear upgrade video. Uh, we're upgrading a lot of stuff here coming soon, but that is the office, guys. I, uh, hopefully you guys uh, kind of get this behind the scenes of how I do work and anything like that. If you have any questions about anything in this video, um, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you do like these videos, um, give it a thumbs up and uh, definitely subscribe. So until next time, catch you guys later.